A reading from the Gospel of John. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Another very moving passage from the Gospel of John. It kind of evokes the image that we see in so many stained glass windows and on paintings of Jesus praying on the side of a big rock or boulder and looking up into the heavens, speaking to his Father. But actually, this scene is at the Last Supper. He's at a dinner table. This is his version of the Lord's Prayer in the Gospel of John. He has this intimate moment with God the Father right in the midst of his disciples, whom he now calls friends. We're toward the end of this Easter season, and we have now the season following the Ascension. And we get the notion that Jesus is wrapping up his earthly ministry and letting us know that he is returning to the Father and that he has done the work that he was sent to do. He said, I have finished the work that you gave me to do. Glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence. I have finished the work. Because of the resurrection, because of the ascension, because of Jesus' time on earth, we know that life has a purpose. Each of us have a mission or something that God has put us on this earth to do. Are we aware of what that might be? Jesus also defines eternal life as knowing who God is and knowing who Jesus is. That alone gives us a sense that we are here because God has put us here. We have finished the work. We must finish the work as Jesus has finished. I don't like thinking about finishing the work. I don't like thinking of end of life issues. My dearest friend has been preparing for retirement since we were in our 20s. But for me, it's like, oh, retirement, old age, that's never going to come. And it's not just about old age and retirement, but having a sense of purpose and mission on what I was sent here to do, which also in, does include end of life issues. A very dear friend of mine died a few years ago during the pandemic. It was a really rough time. And she enlisted the support of a death doula. I did not know what that was at the time someone who helps you prepare to end your life pretty much on your terms, seeing what you would like to accomplish. And I looked at that as I was struggling with my own health issues at the time. What is a death doula? 
And lo and behold, I looked that up. And there is one on uh, TED Talks and recently interviewed by the name of Aloha Arthur, who is formerly a lawyer, maybe presently a lawyer as well. But she also says she's a death doula. And in an interview, she mentioned there are three questions that we must face toward the end of our life, towards any time of our life, really. What have I loved? How have I loved? Was I loved? That kind of resonates with the Gospel of John that it's all about love. I would add, although it's kind of embedded in her questions, maybe a theme and variation, what have you been passionate about? How do we prepare to end well? Be it our jobs, be it our time on earth, how do we end well? Which is really the same as how do we live well? Are you doing what you've been put on the earth to do? Pray about that with the Gospel of John. The disciples get to overhear Jesus praying for them. Let us pray for one another and entertain those questions, as difficult or uncomfortable as they may seem. Were you loved in this lifetime? Who did you love? What have you been passionate about? May we have time to meditate on those and fulfill our lives mission so we too can hear, well done, my faithful servant. Amen.